I'm a big fan of this. I know some of you aren't, but I think Tremaine Emery has been getting a lot of unfair stick online. A lot of people kind of, you know, wanting to kick him while he's down. And I think just in general, maybe because of the whole Supreme thing with the whole, um, you know, calling Supreme, what do you call it? Um, white, what's the thing called? What did he, what he term Supreme as? Did he say it's a white supremacy? Whatever. He didn't have a lot of nice words to say about Supreme because they wouldn't let him do some very racy t-shirts um, with a particular artist that he wanted to work with. And he felt as if they were silencing him because he was black. He kind of pointed out that a lot of the C-suite executive people that work at Supreme were all white, despite the store being full of people from all around the world from all over the world and it being a brand that really did, really did promote like multiculturalism and black voices and all this malarkey he kind of felt like he was sold a bit of a dream and he had a bug to bear about it he spoke about it really really you know really boldly really confidently even though i didn't agree with a lot of things he said you kind of respect him for kind of signing that position especially when you consider the the prestige of that job the salary involved, the fact that he would completely burn that all to the ground because he feel like it didn't align with his political societal point of view does go I think it is a credit to him to be fair I think a lot of people talk a lot of shit but don't really stand on their shit he was willing to risk his job risk his reputation to stand up for what he believes in even though I don't even though I don't agree with everything he says you have to give him credit for that well people are now more upset about this he put out his recent collection for spring summer 2024 the, the, the title of it is called Kiss My Grits and people are upset that he decided to make um, beanies with like watermelon prints on them and I guess a necklace that features chicken bones which is uh, I guess has racial connotations over there in America I'm assuming I think in the UK when I think of chicken bone necklaces I just think of voodoo to be fair so I wouldn't wear that anyway because if, imagine if I if I wore an, a chicken bone necklace and I went back home to see my parents legitimately I think they might sign me up for an exorcism I think they might sign up for an exorcism they might throw a knife on my head. They might douse me in olive oil. Like, it would not be fun. Like, I could not do it. But I understand that Tremaine has billed Denim Tears as a brand that talks about the black experience, slavery and shit. That's what he wants to do with the brand. I think it's been very evident for the moment he created that cotton reef, you know, patent, right? Um, even though it's, it's been fucking bastardized and become like a trend thing, it's a very powerful message behind that cotton reef hoodie, right? Behind that cotton reef patent. But it's kind of now become just something that people just wear without even thinking much about it. But the whole brand is very racially charged. So I'm not really surprised that he would do what he's doing now. I just think it's interesting from a design point of view how it's going to be interpreted by kids who just want to wear the cotton reef shit like how do you get like little white kids little asian kids little arab kids you know to confidently wear this stuff that's like really i'm black and i'm proud fist in the air kind of you know proclaiming it from the fucking from the rooftops like that's an interesting design proposition like how do you get those kids that just went away start to be trendy also be into wearing like a black jesus shirt and stuff you know what i mean that's the kind of function but i really like the designs i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna i'm not even gonna sugarcoat it i like the designs a particular design here we have um this leather this leather shirt is it jacket it said red guts leathered car jacket is beautiful personally for me i'm also a big fan of this watermelon print leather pouch i think this is done one of them is done in collaboration with comme des garçons which is really cool that you know he's such a young brand to already have a collaboration with fucking comme des garçons is fucking an amazing um you know validation and amazing kind of nod that he's going in the right direction because ray kawakubo and that whole group of people don't really fuck around and don't really kind of you know stamp and approve anyone so the fact that he got that kind of recognition and stamp of approval says that he's obviously doing things the right way and obviously has his head on the right shoulders or his head screwed on properly but i really love this watermelon print little pouching i don't i'm not gonna lie i really do like it um continuing on we've also got another sheet of another shoe sh t-shirt here featuring a fruit collage t-shirt then we've got the aforementioned handmade chicken bone necklace that all the people are going crazy about again like i said i'm not really familiar with a lot of the race stuff happening in america and stuff i'm sure this has different connotation but again for me just being a regular fucking african dude that lives in fucking london and the experience that we have with chicken bones it's mostly a voodoo shit so a lot of people probably wouldn't be down with it just because of the voodoo connotation black magic connotations around it but maybe 
maybe in America, um, this chicken bone thing is more of a triggered race thing that kind of makes you think less of yourself. I don't know. Whatever it is, I think the fucking necklace is still hard. I wouldn't personally wear it myself, but I don't really mind it too tough. There's also a rin denim. There's a fruit collage hoodie here with loads of different bits of fruit all over the hoodie that I'm a big fan of. Another chicken bone necklace look as well that people are going fucking crazy about, right? <laughs> Again, I fucking love it personally. Again, if you've got a brand called Denim Tears, that's about the what's the label say is it about the black the, um, the, the diaspora and i think it's again it's about the black experience slavery and shit that's basically what his brand's about it's about slavery it's fucking wild to think there's somebody out there that has a streetwear brand slash fashion brand that is based on slavery it's kind of wild but when you kind of go you know when you kind of peel the onion layers and you kind of get into it a bit you know you kind of go meta for meta it kind of does start to make a lot of sense especially when you start thinking about how cotton is produced with that malarkey it starts to become a little bit more you know what i mean hold this a bit a bit more of his weight um you got this kmg gingham button i love this actually i also love that hat that felt hat is absolutely banging as well. There's also a bit of a rope chain thing going on here, which I've also loved the look at. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the models look really cool too, by the way. There's a chicken bone thermal. Oh, look at that. Kiss my grits. That almost looks like a wolf, isn't it? I love that. It's like a kiss my grits to the back. But when you zoom out, it looks like a wolf a little bit, doesn't it? It looks a little bit like a wolf. I love the look of that. Also got the socks as well. The signature denim tear socks in that, um, in that flip of the American flag. You've also got this Harlem, Georgia Okra's baseball jersey. There's an Okra baseball jersey. That's fucking cool. I don't know why people are so, like, pissed off about this shit. He's got Okra on a baseball jersey. That's fucking cool. Harlem, the Harlem, Georgia Okra's baseball jersey. That's freaking cool. I'm not going to lie. I, I would, I'd wear that. You've got Okra sweatpants there. You've got a Silk Velour seasoning. There's a seasoning shirt. That's, come on. This is This is hard. And even that hat, I'd wear the fuck out of that hat. That hat is fucking hard. That hat is absolutely banging. It's got this really massive bulbous bit on the outside, right? It's almost like a, what do you call it? Um, a hat like a dreadhead would wear, but it's got this really cool bump at the top as well, which I also like. And you've got this shirt. Again, if, if our legacy did this, everybody will be fucking wanking over it. Do you know what I mean? That's the thing I don't like as well when it comes to fashion and streetwear and shit. If our legacy did this, if Acne did this, everybody would be jacking off underneath their table. Do you know what I mean? But because it's somebody that doesn't look like a conventional designer, everybody's fucking got their fucking niggas in the twist. Um, there's Silk for Lost Seasoning shirt. There's a hand-printed picnic table shirt. There's a giant fruit tea, which I love again. Oh, that's one of my favorite looks. I'd wear this head to toe. This is me all day. Hand printed um plaid five oh one. There's a hand printed plaid five oh one in the in the pattern of like a typical like you know garden kitchen table thing, right? With the red and white crosses. And then there's this great leather waistcoat. Brown that's crinkled and burned and dyed in different places, and a crisp white tee. And then you've got the denim tears belt with the DT on it. <sighs> and you've also got the shoes. Um, are the shoes part of the collection? Are they a collaboration? They've got these Oxford Brogue type style shoes. I'd wear the fuck out of that look. That is me to a T. <clears throat> that is so hard. And you've also got a fruit collage but and button up, which I also love. You've got the chicken bone sweatpants pants and hoodie. You've got a red guts leather jacket, car jacket. You've got a polenta fancy grits <laughs> t-shirt. I love this, all this stuff. It's fun. And then I think this is one people really got pissed off about. The watermelon t-shirt. <laughs> to be fair, I'd wear the fuck out of the watermelon t-shirt. Give me a watermelon t-shirt. Give me a grape soda hoodie. Give me a leather jacket with a chicken wing on the back of it. Um, you know what I mean? Like, give me a fucking macaroni and cheese fucking pattern you know denim suit or something and then, or maybe maybe change the cotton reefs and make it all macaroni and cheese right i'd fucking wear the fuck out of that why not man we all know wagwan in it we all we all know we love fucking watermelon why we act like you don't like watermelon you don't see watermelon in your t-shirt come on man have some fun be a bit fun stop being fucking uptight we got a barack um still fruit painting hoodie as well that was pretty cool with smatching sweatpants as well i love the look of that you got fruit collage baseball tee and a KMG Gingham XL tote bag. And then you've also got the last one, red mohair sweater. So personally, I love it. I love everything I've seen. 
but people on social media weren't too happy. So let's actually see what the reaction was people on social media. So the first post here, you got the inside look on the Denim Tears Comme des Garçons Watermelon Wallet. Personally, I love it. As you can see from the video, it features the watermelon print on the outside. And when you open it, it's got the watermelon seeds on the inside. One person here says, LMAO, in my mind, Denim Tears is designed by Jonathan Majors. In my mind for every raccoon ass look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jonathan Majors designed it. It's fucking hilarious. Bootleg Denim Tears dress. Denim Tears six months insanity run is over. All I can think of when I see Denim Tears drop, they've got, a, you know, whatever his name is. Another person says, the, the, the collection is fire. This dances person says, Denim Tears doing art. I want, I hate people that write like this, isn't it? Is this dyslexia? Why do people write this on Twitter? I wonder if this is dyslexia. One piece in the collection that, yes, has a watermelon shirt, fire, but nobody buys weird accessories like that. And whomever does it is into art. This imagery is always an art of his work. Do art that... Pro oh, anyway, it's too much. I can't read that. This guy talks like he's fucking... He's been hit by lightning. Another person. What the hell is wrong with you, Denim Tears? Chicken bone necklaces? Everyone going crazy. Another one. Um, what people are saying here. Uh, big bro until you say no okay but the, i don't know what that means cryptic post from him um what more any more denim tears posts from this year everyone else says here i hate that cunt oh another person says here about tremaine i hate that cunt ass nigga tremaine i just now found out he created denim tears he's a menace to the black community <laughs> Who knew just making some, you know, some fly ass clothes for your fly ass customers? Um, what, do you need a new creative director's fucking? That's brutal. Who knew that would cause so much fucking issues? People are really sensitive about this shit, innit? Let's see the chicken bone shit. Let's see what they said here in the chicken bone shit. Um, I had to come to see this foolishness with my own eyes. Supreme dodged the bullet. Slow down dropping all this bullshit. Oh, that's a. That's a young fuck meme. By the way, you know that young fuck meme where he says, slow down on that bullshit you're dropping? You know, all this time, I thought it was, um, who do we think it was? We thought it was, I forgot, but it, it's been revealed that it was actually Future he was talking about. He was talking about Future. All that time when he said, boys, slow down dropping all that bullshit. I think most of us thought it was like Rich Chomi Kwan or somebody, but it was actually Future he was talking about. Crazy. This is hard. Unmanufa unmanufactured this. <laughs> Can't wait for this to drop. You got the laughing emoji there from the boondocks. Negroes and chicken bones, LOL. Yes, this is ass. They saw your pants. They saw your pants. Okay, cool. <laughs> to be fair though, I've said it before. I would love to get like a coin purse made out of a chicken wing. Like imagine if you did a coin purse with Comme de Garçon that was done in the shape of a chicken wing. I'd have that in a, I'd have that in a, I'd love that. Or in a chicken nugget. Like give it to me. Give it to me, please. Um, if you also get snapped, da, da, da. what is what saying here? I got sorry. I got to look into Tremaine's philosophy behind Denim Tears because it's almost like he's allergic to nuance. But the intention doesn't translate beyond a limited understanding of stereotypes and old perceptions. It doesn't really Im imagine a way forward. There's no way forward, man. You're just making fucking clothes, man. These people do think you're gonna be able to transmute. Um, so much depth and meaning into fucking garments is fucking annoying. It's just fucking clothes. Like, honestly, everybody give their head a wobble. Everybody relax. Everybody chill out. Let the guy make his clothes. The people that like to wear those type of clothes will wear them. Like I said, I think personally centering your brand on racism and slavery is fucking insane. He does it. He's clearly doing something right because the man's a multimillionaire. So clearly people love what he's doing. You know, rock with it until you rock with it and then keep moving. Not that big deal. Um, and then the last one here, Dead in Tears is so fucking ass. Personally, I love it. I can't wait to see when I can't wait to to see when it drops. Actually, um, is there a date for when it's actually meant to be dropping? I don't actually know. Let's check the last post here. Um, no date yet when it's gonna drop. Um, but I am liking what I'm seeing. I'm seeing what I'm like, and hopefully when it does drop, I will get some of it myself. Personally, I'd love that red leather jacket. I love. I love this entire look with the chicken bones, necklace included. I love that shirt. The cut of those pants also on this shirt look is absolutely great. I'm not going to lie. The cut on these black pants is fucking stupendous. So I love the foot look of that. And I'd also like this look in particular. This is me to a T. This look there, 
I'd wear the fuck out of this look in this entirety. That is hard. That brown vest, those big in buttons, oh, the crinkled nature of it, the belt, the pants, all look superb. So big up Tremaine. I like it personally. I think people are getting knickers over in a twist over absolutely nothing. And I hope this drops very, very soon.